Hey everybody, welcome back to day six of the 21 day sleep challenge. So today what I wanna to talk to you about is this whole idea about doing a digital detox. So a lot of you probably heard about this before and a lot of you might actually be trying to incorporate this into your nightly routine already. But there's real science behind it and I want you to understand what happens when you have your face in your cell phone when you're trying to fall asleep or if you happen to wake up in the night and you're you know you're trying to fall back asleep and you're like oh like I'll scroll through Instagram for a bit I want you to understand why this is a bad idea this problem is the problem with the blue light right so if you saw day four of the 21 day sleep challenge in my video when I was talking about melatonin you know that light actually suppresses melatonin so melatonin is so important for helping you stay asleep and helping you fall asleep too. So when you wake up in the night and you know you start looking at your phone, you get that light shining, it's actually gonna be suppressing the thing that's gonna help you fall back asleep and stay back asleep. So that's no good. The other thing, when you are close to your Wi-Fi devices, they actually radiate electromagnetic fields. And these operate and they cycle at a really high frequency and it's much, much higher than the natural magnetic frequencies of our bodies. So just to put it into perspective, when you go to sleep at night, your brain comes down to a frequency of around two hertzes, which is really low. The average house, just its general electric charge, not including Wi-Fi devices, usually buzzes around 50 to 60 hertzes. Throw in your Wi-Fis and that number is gonna go way up and it's a different kind of energy. So it's super stimulating for your body and you have to be really careful. A lot of this is really hard for us to avoid. So what can you do to make your bedroom a little bit more zen? So today I'm challenging you to try out these three tips, especially if you're somebody sensitive who's been really struggling with their sleep. What I'm talking about today and these tips and tricks are things that never hurt to try because I've seen in so many cases in my practice where just, you know, separating from the Wi-Fi a little bit can actually make a huge difference when it comes to like tension headaches and insomnia. So here's where you start. So number one, no blue light shining in your face when you're trying to unwind. You don't need to be on your cell phone, you know, looking at Instagram or doing work when you're trying to get ready for bed. It just doesn't, it's not setting you up for a night of successful rest because that blue light is gonna be suppressing your melatonin and spiking cortisol. And like, even if you are using the blue light filters on your phone, which I do recommend if you are gonna be on your phone in the evening, it is good to just disconnect 100% while you're trying to get ready for bed. And I recommend doing this an hour or two before bed. Number two, I want you to just be careful with where your Wi-Fi router is in your home. If it is in your bedroom, I would recommend unplugging it while you sleep. And if you sleep with your cell phone beside your head, I know a lot of us do, and we use it as our alarm clock, which is, it's okay. I just recommend sliding it over to airplane mode while you sleep, so you're not gonna get those electromagnetic fields buzzing around your head, stimulating your brain when it's trying to friggin' wind down. So the three tips again are, no looking at your phone an hour or two before bed or really minimizing it. And if you do have to look at it, make sure you have a blue light filter. Um, number two, being mindful of where your Wi-Fi router is in your home. And if it's near your bedroom or in your bedroom, unplug it while you sleep. Number three, if you sleep with your cell phone beside your head, just switch it over to airplane mode so that you're not getting those frequencies buzzing too close to your head, stimulating your brain when you're trying to wind down. So tonight, let's say after eight o'clock, nine o'clock, and you're starting to get ready for bed, unplug that Wi-Fi, switch your, switch your phone over to airplane, and have a really cozy, calming, chill night, and get ready for like a sweet sleep with no EMFs. So that's your challenge today. Have fun with it, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.